Well, we need to come in here about two inches. It's here that former President Jimmy Carter and former First Lady Rosalind Carter have come with an army of volunteers to build 100 new low-cost homes. It's a step in the right direction, and also it's a kind of an inspirational idea that can't help to solve the world's housing needs. You, know, you, you plant a seed, and you hope it grows. With modern technology that employs lightweight polystyrene and wire mesh walls, the new community is literally rising out of the desert. We are trying out a new building technique here that we believe will have far-reaching benefits for communities around the world that don't have high-quality clay from which you can make bricks and Spanish tile and don't have trees from which you can get lumber. But with this building technique, these panels are very light. Even the biggest panels my wife and I have been carrying around without any problem. The plastic foam slabs, which are produced and cut right here in Tijuana, serve as insulation and give form to the wall sections. This inexpensive but sturdy design was first used in Sweden. The strength comes from the wire mesh covering and how it's tied together and braced to the concrete foundation and the roof beams. All the wall surfaces are then plastered and painted. The finished result is a traditional looking house that will last for generations to come. Much of the work is done by volunteers who come from around the world to help those in need. Where are you from? I'm from Wayland, Iowa. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm from Acton, Massachusetts. From Aschaffenburg, West Germany. Right now I'm working with a, with a Mexican guy. He doesn't speak any English, I don't speak any Spanish, but we put on, uh, we put on a roof together and it, it's terrific to see a house working, a house raising up, you know, with, with all different kinds of people all over the world. I'm so glad to be here, to be here, and I will never forget about this experience. The volunteers live in a tent city under Spartan conditions that reflect the underprivileged lifestyle of the nearby village. When these houses are completed, they'll be about 500 square feet. Now that may not sound very large, but for most of the families who will be living in them, that's more space than they've ever had. Marco Ruiz and five members of his family now live in this cramped 10 foot by 10 foot shack. There's no running water, no permanent doors, and the floor is dirt. They're one of the lucky families that will get one of the new Habitat International homes.